Oh, that was uh, interesting. Hey, but I can go back there and do the side quest, though. Just like, oh yeah, they want to kill me, but let me just help you guys out. Yeah, yeah no worries. <laughs> An evil man brings you biscuits. Do you give them to your children? I would not let good food go to waste. I would let my children starve. A serpent's gift will always end in malice. Sweet from evil remains sweet, even if it crumbles quickly in their hands. Priost Ianbert the Vellum. Ianbert is a meticulous man, careful about all he undertakes and rigorous about his work. Fearing to describe, he came into possession of some remarkable documents in dictating that a secret order existed among his countrymen. He sought them out and was soon brought into the order himself. His precision has served him well. He soon rose to the rank of Priost and is given the most difficult assignments and scrupulously executes them. Ah, we've got this guy now. Where are you hiding? In the middle of nowhere, basically. Oh, in that town. Guys, that is not what I had planned. Oh dear. I was kind of meant to grab something as I was falling. That was the plan. been extinguished again. This guy's a magistrate as high as full K, but he's not exactly a prominent one. He's not doing sneaky, sneaky plans and things. He's just sure. hiding out here. Like, good one, mate. I 
And I haven't seen many zealots, like, they're just not around. I've got three more, but uh, there should be loads. I could have found them before. Oh wow, there he is. Probably wasn't there before. Rest easy, Reeve. The time has come. Yes. Now I will be judged at the Witten of the Gods. To Helheim with you. Aye. Even Helheim needs a reeve. Wow, well, was something and nothing. Magister Derby, the vice. Derby came into the order having already secured the position of Reeve in the city of his birth. Enforcing rules was his joy and pleasure. He saw attaining the rank of Magister in the order as a way to enforce rules and even more severity, severity thereby increasing his pleasure all the more. Okay. What we got here? Okay, investigate the chain blockade on the Ember River in Sussex, northeast of Porchester. Where's Sussex again? I cannot remember. Essex? Kent? Sussex. Northeast of. Where's he needs to be in? Where's Paul? Yeah, north, east. Ah, Ember blockade here. So there's a clue there apparently. say about this guy? I must get the chain blockade on that. There should be a clue here somewhere. Best not to draw attention here. Hey, what? I'll kill you! Ah! Let's strip the dog off! 
Can't hold out much longer. We get instant access to the father, or whether I have to, um, I don't know, do something else to get access to the father. Whether he's part of the main story, or whether, I, as soon as I've got enough clues for him, I can go get him. Is he going to be so I've met before, or just someone completely random?
won't be gentle if they spot me. I sought pleasure with the silver I received from the Order. I shared it too, with many in need. Don't be blinded by the gleam of your bloodlust. Shared silver always comes at a cost. What of it? I forged good from what you call evil. Lives were improved. Lives worth more than the silver that paid for them. I do not regret the lives lost for the charity gained. Put an arrow in the dog. Alatinius Bensick the Bell. Early in Bensick's life, the rake took him in. His delight in murder was clear, but to serve the order, his will had to be broken. The rake's method was to inflict upon him day and night the loud, instant clang of a bell. It became the signal to trigger his primal murderous instincts. Well, wow. the bell grew to be particularly adept at fit filling the Order's coffers with silver. He presented himself as a man of charity in this way. He met wealthy donors who supported the monastery. Once met, it was easy enough to visit them, murder them, rob them, and bury them anonymously in the Abbey's graveyard. Wow. Oh wow, we have access to her straight away. Carnal, where are you? Where are you? I want to get the other one first though. So where does this one tell me to go? Festival near Henge Farm in the hills. South of Stonehenge. We can find Stonehenge. I don't think we're going to be able to find, are we? Because we haven't unlocked the map. Oh, we just we do what we can, and we got two people to deal with them. I need to get out of here first. Far enough away, or <laughs> going on them.
Okay, let's get this right. Archbishop never suspected my heresy. I kept secrets as I gathered believers. I appeared so pious my eyes bled for it. But I've never felt as much love for his God. Not like I do the old gods. The true gods. Our ancient creators. Your life was a lie, you mean. You threw your honor into the ocean. When I told the Archbishop my true belief, he was horrified. So I silenced him. That silence comes for you now. Wow, monster. I really the do. Ugly woman, too. Uh, okay, let's see what she says. Magister Blazemith the Rake. A youthful love gone sour. Sent Blazewith into a nunnery at the insistence of her father. There, however, she found a new love, the Order. She pursued the prompt. Zemps of the Order with a consuming passion, eventually rising to the level of Magister. Right, and I've just had a look. Wee, wee, do, 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 is um, where Stonehenge is. And it says. Whereabouts is it? So it's like. Ah, it's, it even shows you a picture. It's here. So from this, we need to head. I want to try and get all of them in this. Um, I think the first one near Henge Farm in the hills south of Stonehenge. Okay, so we're going to go have a little look. Ready, move! Interesting move! Your time, mate. Right. Once again, I'm still in fighting mode. Right, that was it before we run into more enemies. A little bit crazy if I can just kill the father straight away. I feel like there should have been some sort of like dramatic thing of like, I am the one that resides around all. But if it's literally just like the magistrates and you're just like, oh, you killed him. Oh. It'd be quite disappointing if I'm honest.
shouldn't take me too long to get there. There's more zealots than um the ancients. No! Boom, boom, we'll be able to take on the server now, or at least have all the clues for him and have him revealed. Curious, let's see if we do. I won't even click into it, but I'm just curious if we... Oh, we don't, because we are missing one, right? Oh my god, have I got... All of the ze zealots have appeared on my map. Whoa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 zealots. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. I can't remember how many I count at first, but there's 30 was the ancient and however many zealots I just said, which I can't remember. No. It's pretty cool that it's now revealed them all. So if I now got a map full of. Um, Yes, yes I do. Right, so it's south of Stonehenge. At Henge Farm. from the hens farm in the hills. Go! Oh. Okay, so we're at hens farm now. And here's a <laughs> festival in the hills. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Could be anywhere. <laughs> where the drinking is happening over there.
Aha, I found the festival. Sure. Be a festival, right? Out drinking our rocks. Step up. You'll see for yourself. <laughs> so that's the pig farm. Uh, Reedigum Abbey. Oh, where's Reedigum Abbey? Let's find out, guys. Two seconds. Reed. Wait, it's Abbey, it's an Abbey, so it's... Which one? There's two. One along the river. Wait. Yeah, that one. What was the what was the clue, guys? Something about along the river, but what? So that's the pig farm. Okay. <laughs> yeah! We're going to invite an adventure here, aren't we, everyone? Yeah. 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 We do have to kill all the ah. zealots to find out the location of the main guy, but we'll see. Uh, Soon they still have their last orders though, so they're still. <laughs> then if you killed them, all the orders and then the zealots just disappeared. It's like, oh. Wait. Right, the pig farm. Be my eyes. A pig? Yeah. That, I saw a little piggy! That means it must be this side then. Aha! All I have to do is keep walking a little bit. Ah, no 
now been revealed to me, my friend. Right, where are we heading? At him? There you are. Let's see get closer. Yes. Woo! All will be revealed, everyone. All shall be revealed. Even see the town is in from here. <laughs> yeah. oh, let's move. Yeah, after I do with this guy, the yeah. order is basically dead. Well, that's the whole Assassin's Creed part of the game done. Wow. Sure. Crazy! I, d I wanted to take care of all the uh, members of the order before I did like the last one, just because I thought it'd be cool if you like, be like, your order is dead. And I wonder if it would change the cuts. That'd be quite cool if it changed it, and it was just like, it was just like, ah, oh, your order is nearly wiped out, but if you kill them all, they're literally like, your order is dead. Stop eating me, garden, you filthy little yeah. things! People garden, which is hey, kind of what? Annoying. I cared about my family, just my family. I love them more than anything. And the families who fell by the order's command, were they not worthy of love? You are a Dane. How can you speak of the value of a life? All our rent is less than the axe to you. Not true. I see honor in many people. Many places. You have proved here that your compassion has a hard and brutal limit. No, Thank you for your time, oh. member of the Order. Oh. Priest Johannes the Oil. Johannes took the cloth that brings respectability to his family name. However, in the church, he took the lessons of hierarchy. And this been seriously, leading him to join the order. His method was to worm his way into contact with influential people, dispatch them and install his family members into their vacant positions. Ah, and you are still hidden to me though. He does hold a position of power because he's still hidden. Anyway, we're gonna uh, just go back, speak to Ramvi and end the session there. Oh, 
happy to know that all the members of the order are dead bar one now. Just have to do a zealots cleansing as well. I should talk to Hytham about my next targets. <laughs> what, the ones that were all dead? <laughs> well, let's speak to Ranvi first, and then we'll speak to Hytham, and then we'll end it there. Yes, yes, one more, and only because you all have such good taste. Now, this. I'm curious to get some more stories. Every time I come there, like the same. <sighs> Do we get anything off of the um, zealots? I don't think we do. Good to see you. The order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred, the line between friend and enemy is a porous one. Really? <laughs> There's no pledge. There's no, yeah, there's nothing there. Oh, wow. Alright, oh, let's go speak to Thingy. Hey. I did wish to speak with you. He is quite happy. Something happened. That can wait to another time. Let's speak to Hytham. And I reckon we will be doing um, the Asgard stuff next. Well, no, we'll do all the exploring videos. But I don't know. Mate, is there no quest for Hamptonshire? I'm not sure. Time ago, I'll have to maybe a little, do a little bit of research just to see if there is or not. A place of I cleared Winchester of the Order. Yet to do so meant working with King Alfred. Your poor fellow soldier led you to the King of Wessex? How very strange. He, or she, is toying with you, it seems. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Ah, good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. Keep this up and the land will be free of these monsters. I have to go. Then go in peace. Alright everyone, I'm going to call it a session Long there, but I hope ago, you're enjoying this playthrough of Assassin's Creed Bar. If you are, please like and subscribe, and if you've got something to say, put it in the comment section below. I'll catch you all in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the day everyone. See ya!